Welcome to the program Secrets of Beauty, togethernessmedia.com. Today's program is going to be different. The way that I already promised that I'm going to do a live makeup on our beautiful model, step-by-step -step tutorial. And the way that you guys see, I already prepared all my, all my uh, makeup product and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do the makeup and also what type of product I am using. Okay, today makeup that I'm going to do, it's going to be like, not natural, but it's going to be like a little bit natural towards um, dramatic makeup. And I'm going to use like um, blending different colors. And then we're going to have the foundation, the contour, if it's necessary to do the contour for the face, we are going to do that. Okay, we already prepared the um, model face. What we have to do, we have to make sure always the skin is good, okay? And before we do the makeup to um, open the pores and uh, having skin uh, soft and beautiful and our makeup reason is going to be um, it's going to be very good the result for the makeup is going to be very very nice okay and then um, the way that I said that like, we can do the um, eyes first then we can do the um, what is it the uh, face but just the opposite also we can do the face first and then do the eyes it doesn't matter but since I'm doing the uh, traditional makeup so I'm going to do the eye first and then I'm going to do the face okay so before we are doing everything so I'm going to make sure that the eyelid is clean and it's not oily okay and she has a great space I mean do you see the uh, space between the um, eyes and the eyebrow. So when you have space, there are lots of great uh, techniques that you can use it. You have room to work. But for the eyes that they are close with the eyebrows, there are not much room available to do the, the type of eyeshadow that you are doing. In this case, we can do beautiful. And it's a young age actually, and she's pretty by itself. So it's very good. So make my job much easier, my dear. Okay, so before we do the eyes, I already clean, make sure there is no oily, okay? And then I'm gonna use the primer. Primer for the eyeshadow primer is very, very important because what it does, it, it show you the uh, perfect color and also it's a long lasting, more than 24 hours, okay? And even if you go under the water, or if you cry or something happen, your eyeshadow is not gonna move when you are using the uh, waterproof, okay? So, uh, in this case, I'm using Smashbox. I'm using Smashbox 24 hour. And then the amount of the uh, primer that you're using, you don't have to use a lot and you don't have to use less. And what I do, I always, when I do the primer, I apply on both eyes, okay? I, you have to blend it fast and you don't have to blend too much to get dry. You have to leave the room to do it. But I'm going all around the eyelid, the whole area, and also even out of the eyes, okay? The perfect way that we have to do the makeup, it has to be this way okay you don't have to put the eyeshadow more than that but what i do i always put because any extra so we can clean it so it's going to be very very good so i'm using the primer it's very nice okay so i'm gonna blend it really nice and the way that you see and also i can do like tap tap in the end so what i do i go like this one okay so this is perfect so I use the primer and now I'm gonna use my shadow. I choose the palette, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and uh, it's a modern Renaissance palette. And he has a beautiful color. You can see like all matte and shimmer colors mixed together, I love it. So what I do, I'm gonna use the um, uh, light colors um, under the eyebrow area for the, for the eyebrow bone, okay? So I'm gonna use this color, okay? And I'm gonna do it starting from the corner of the inner corner out towards the eyebrow bone, 
okay? When you open your eyes, when you open it, so the area that it opens, you, that you can see it, it has to be this light color, okay? That's the key part that you have to do. You cannot go more less than that or more than that. So I'm gonna start in with the corner, again, towards up under the eyebrows. And I'm always blending out because I love to do it when I put the eyelashes then I can see exactly uh, the eye shape and the any extra so it's easy to clean it but um, unless if you have less eyeshadow it's gonna be hard to add it uh, the point it's the secret it's like you have to have the point so you do it right okay you better um, be careful the way that you are putting your eyeshadows so not putting less okay so what I do, I, the way that you see, I'm just like blending towards outside. So it's perfect. And I try to not go on uh, nose, okay? And if there is anything, any extra color or everything, I just gonna go ahead and blend it. Because when you're using the primer, you have to be careful. Primer is like a stick. It stick the fun, uh, the, Color, so it's gonna be hard to blend it. So you have to do it right away. Make sure that it's blend. Okay, like this way is a little bit uh, less. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And it's very, very important that what type of brushes you are using. So in this case, I'm just using this uh, uh, oval shape brush because it's gonna make the blending very, very nice and it makes the color really good okay so open your eyes so the way that you see so under the eyebrow and open the face in the in the makeup it's very very important that we have to consider if they have a wide set or if they have a closed set it's very important that in that case what color you have to use because in the makeup I already said like always you know, dark colors it, it hides and the bright colors it shows okay in any cases for eyeshadow for face for contouring but when you're using these two colors you have to be careful that what you're using in case let's see for the even people who they have close set eye we definitely have to use the light colors look down on this area only. anything light it has to go even if you're using dark colors the rest but you have to put the light color, even the shimmer color on the corner, so that light, it makes the, se uh, the eyes separate. But if you want to bring the eyes closer, so what we do, we're just gonna go the opposite, we are using the dark color. Okay. I'm gonna use next, I am going to use the lighter color, this is like a burnet orange, I'm gonna use this one from the palette of um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Why? Because I'm using like two colors, okay? I'm gonna blend it really nice. Okay, I, it calls the third line, it calls the crease. I'm gonna do it on the crease, then I'm gonna blend it towards out. I'm gonna start it from here, and then from the crease, and I blend it out, and mix the color nice, because I'm using the light colors, so you can blend it really, really nice. If you see the way that I'm using my brushes also, it's very, very important, okay? What I do, I'm just gonna go over this, and then on the third line, which is the crease, and I'm gonna blend it towards up, because I wanna mix it with my light color, but, but the way that I'm going up, I'm not gonna, put, I'm not gonna push my, um, uh, what is it? the brush because more if you have the color and more you push it it's gonna be dark so if I have to do the light color so what I'm doing I'm going like very very light and I'm not pushing it so I go again and I circle I blend make sure open your eyes okay perfect the way that you're seeing it so what it does the light colors when you open the eyes slightly you can see the color and it's not too much, okay? So what I do after this one, I'm going to use a shimmer color and I'm gonna use another brush, small brush, like this one, okay? And I'm gonna use this, what they call it, is uh, uh, Werner. This is the color I'm using. I'm gonna use this one for inside, inner corner of the eyes. 
Okay, it's very important. If I want to use the darker color, the out, uh, other corner, I have to make sure that I'm not gonna use the light colors because I don't wanna mix the light and dark because it's gonna mess my dark color. So you have to make sure how far you wanna go and do the light colors. So in this case, I'm using these colors and it's very nice and shimmery. Okay, especially if you're, they are young age, it's very, very nice for the young age. Okay, what I do, I'm just gonna go over and then what I do also, I'm gonna go on top of my brown color. Open your eyes. So when you see that this area, it's gonna be the shimmery. I'm gonna use this same, and I'm gonna use the right brush. It's extremely important what type of brushes you are using. You're gonna make your life much easier. So you look at the eye shape. If eyes are big, use the brush that it suits for the eye. If it's small, use the small brush, okay? because the blending is gonna be good and it's gonna be fast. Okay, what I do, I'm just gonna start in from the corner and I try always to use exactly from this area. And I'm not going all the way to the end because in the end, I wanna mix another color. What I do, I'm just gonna go and blend it, same color. The very, very important part of the makeup is the blending. Blending for eyeshadow, blending for lip, blending for your uh, contour, for foundation. Everything is very important to do the blending. And by the way, when you are when you are touching the color, you are not bringing the color right to the eyes. What you do, you always take the extra out, and then you are blending. Okay, I always go in the corner, and then what I do, I'm just gonna fix the color. It's up to me how to uh, blending and fixing the color. Open your eyes. Okay, perfect. Do you see? And then what it do? It goes. It's layer on top of the layer. You see, like a very slight color. And then that's why when you're when we are doing two colors or three colors, you have to show those three colors, but mix together. Okay, and it has to be blended really, really nice. Okay, what I do? I'm gonna use this oval shape, small one, because I want to shape the uh, outer corner. What I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the, what they call, uh, Sears Umber, Umber color. This is the uh, dark brown, I'm using this one. Amber color, again, because it's gonna be easy for me to shape it and then blend it, okay? So what I do, always this is the area that you have to use. You always have to have a point to start. If you know your points, so your makeup is gonna be nice, clean, beautiful, and quick. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. And this is exactly, I'm going on third line or the crease, okay? By the time I'm going inside, it's gonna be lighter. I'm not pushing my, okay, open your eyes, because I want to hide the dark colors. Okay, when I hide the dark colors, then I'm blending, that's the point. I don't wanna have so much dark colors above the third line. So I'm gonna do exactly the same shape, it's like a V shape. I hope you guys see it perfectly. Okay, what I do, I go V shape. It's a beautiful color. This palette of Anastasia Beverly Hills is very nice. Actually, all of them are very, very nice. So the way that you see, open your eyes. Do you see like when you open the eyes, if you're doing exactly on the crease or on the third line, when you open your eyes, you won't see it. You're just gonna see like slight shadow, which is very nice. By the way, when you are looking down, you're gonna see the shape of the eyeshadow you put. But when you're open it, it's like a very natural way. So you're not gonna see the shape, shape of the eyeshadow, but when you're looking down, you're definitely gonna see it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this okay i can go like thin line i can go thicker but the good things because she already have a great space for the eyes what i'm gonna do i have more room to work with okay so i'm gonna use another um, oval shape brush this is specifically made for uh, uh, what they call blending nothing else you have to blend it with this so what I do, I'm just gonna go over the color. I'm gonna use a little bit again. 
and I will go and start blending nice. I want to make sure my line is like really, really nice blended, not too much. There are ways that I push my, um, what they call brush, to get more, and there are points that I'm pushing like a little bit less because I want like more lighter color and mixing. When you are doing the mixing, you have to do it very light. This is the way that you have to control your hands. And slightly, do you see in the end, I'm just gonna blend it towards up. Open your eyes, perfect. Look down. I hope that you guys can see perfectly the way that I did. Okay, I'm going to use for this one, same way, I'm going to start blending, again, like a V-shape. At this point, I'm holding my brush not too tight, but when it comes to the end, what I see, I'm just like doing circle. Because I have more room and it's easy for me to blend it. So what I do, I'm just blending towards up. And the way that you see I'm holding the head and then I'm putting my, my little finger on the top because when I do this one, it means I have 100% control of what I'm doing. It. But if you do it in the air, so it might, the uh, line goes up and down, but with the way that you are doing it, it's uh, the way that I'm doing it, you have control, fully control of what you are doing. You know, because you know what, if you have to learn to have the control because if you are a makeup artist and you are doing makeup, inside of the car or trailer and the trailer it's moving so those are the techniques that it's, it's, it helps you a lot because you used to have control and then if the trailer is moving you're not going to have any problem so you completely can do your work while they are driving that's the point that's the secret of you have to have the control how to hold your hands and using it Okay, what I did, if you see it, open your eyes. So beautifully, I, I mixed all these three colors together. Let me see. You look so pretty. I love it. I hope that you guys can see it perfectly the way that I see it. Hopefully that you guys can see. So what I do, and now I have time to play. I can add colors again, same colors that I use because I don't want to use too many. And then you have to choose the color that it matched together. So you don't have to use, at this case actually. And uh, what I do, I'm just gonna go over and burn that color again. So what I do, I'm just gonna go above my brown color. And what I do, I am blending nicely. Okay, same way. Because the point is like when you are doing the makeup, when you're using the color, so it's good in the both part, actually not only open eyes. When you look down, you have to make sure the eye shadow shape, it's nice too. Okay, open your eyes, perfectly. So we have like a shimmer and matte colors and it looks very nice. And then I always, always, um, all the time I suggest that don't use too light colors when you are doing under the eyebrows, okay? When you are using shimmer and stuff like that or when you are doing the smoky eyes, so you just do more sexy smoky eyes, not using too much uh, shimmer colors on, on top, okay? Okay, I think this is nice. It's a great shape and then I can add more and less, okay? I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the uh, dark color just in the corner. Expand the, the shape only in the corners. And then yeah, like any tall colors that you're using, let's see if you're using the brown colors and you want to mix a little, I mean, you want to make it a little bit darker so you can use the dark color like black, just like touch off the black and then go um, above the, I mean, on top of the brown. So you make the brown darker. So you don't make it, you don't have to make sure that you're not pushing too much the black colors to show black, but you want to do the brown more darker. So you can use 
the black color. And the opposite, if you want to make it lighter, you go white color, so you add it to that. Those are the little secrets that you can learn. Perfect, I love it. And this is more in fashion, this type of makeup right now. And you know, like the fashion is always come back 10 years, you know, uh, before they had like all blue, green, soft color, shapey and stuff like that. And then it, uh, some, uh, and slowly it came to like more lighter and you know, like a red carpet, just like beautiful, only eyeliners, like very solid and light melted eyeshadow. And now these days for the brides, they love it. Like all this young generation, they love to have more um, natural. But as a makeup artist, you have to know everything, as always I mentioned. Okay, perfect. What I do, I'm just gonna go and touch a little bit of the um, warmer color again, the shimmer color. I want to make sure that my blending is nice. And the way that I do, I'm just gonna, I'm just doing tap, tap, tap. Okay, see the way? Because I don't want to mess my uh, colors that I already blended. So what I do, I'm just gonna do tap, especially in the corner, inner corner, see? And then anytime you want to blend all these things together, you have to go with a clean brush and then you can blend it. Means any extra is gonna come out, see? So it won't bother anything, it's not gonna mix the color. So when you finish your eyeshadow, you want to blend like again, take all the extra out, go with the um, you know, blending, okay, because this is the best way, an easy way, and then just like do the blend that I did. See, like this one. So it won't happen anything. Already the eyeshadow is stick and it's right there. Okay, when I finish my eyeshadow, and then I'm gonna start working on the eyelash. Before I do the eyelash, I'm gonna use the curler, okay? because I want to lift the eyelash up and it's gonna be open the eyes and when you do the uh, false eyelashes, it's gonna look very, very nice. But you have to make sure that you're not pushing too much. I always recommend that before you do any um, mascara, okay? Because when you have the mascara, then you're using the um, curler, it's stick together, you know? And it's not good, it's gonna be hard. Always use clean, nice before you do applying the false eyelashes. Look down and make sure that you cover this and you're not gonna go too deep. So you're not gonna hurt the customer. And don't push too hard. Just go like pushing a little bit. If you push too hard, it's gonna be break and it's gonna be, you know, damage the eye. Let me see my dear. Perfect, look down. And if I need more, I go more. I'm gonna make sure that my curler is good. Okay, this is perfect. So I lift it a little bit up. And then in my case also, when I before I do, this is another secret that I do. Before I do uh, apply the false eyelashes, what I do, I'm just gonna apply a little bit mascara. Why? Because if you have the lashes, and lashes are light, so if you want to choose the right um, eyelashes, not too, uh, not too long or not too thick, when you're putting the mascara, it helps you to choose the right uh, eyelashes, okay? Look down, and it's gonna be easy. Not too much, see? Like with the, this black, uh, I'm using my line, Lushes by Alice, this is what I love. Um, it's a volumizing mascara, and I love it. Just apply just a little bit. I'm not doing uh, the under lashes. I'm gonna finish it when I do my uh, fake lashes, because based on that, I'm gonna add uh, mascara on the bottom, okay? Because I don't wanna do too much or too thick, so I have to, they have to have um, match up and down lashes. Okay, we have like few different uh, eyelashes, and uh, I'm gonna use this one actually. I love this, and it's a 3D lashes that you can use all the time. Okay, 
I'm gonna make sure that the lash is perfectly matched with her lash and her look. Oh, let me see. Oh, beautiful, see? This is very nice. Before I do the glue, I always, always watch it, make sure that it's perfect. And then, by the way, we have to have different um, eyelashes because we have gonna have different customers, different eye shape, and it's very, very important to use it right way. Okay, I'm gonna use the glue. Make sure that you're gluing perfectly and completely. Okay, I shape it towards inside because I wanna make the shape easy when I apply. It goes right top of the uh, own lashes. It's not gonna be on lid because if you put it on the lid, it's gonna show the distance space between those and it's gonna look non beautiful. Okay, this is perfect for her. Make sure that you apply really nice and make sure that it stick. One thing, if your if your customer is sensitive and you know like a watery eyes and stuff like that, don't try to finish your work and just like push the eyeshadow. Leave it, okay? Leave it and then work again. But make sure that it stick. You can blow like that and then leave it like this one. Okay, we gotta go for the second one. Where is it? Okay. okay, I love these lashes, it's beautiful, it's perfect, they have different type, and then it's perfect, I love it, I love it. I am working on my product and I'm adding um, the eyelashes on top, that's why I'm using um, the sample one, so make sure that it's perfect. So then it's gonna be added to my line, Luscious by Alice product. Okay, look down. Perfect. The, another technique that I'm gonna show you, another secret actually, if you're using 3D lashes, like very thick or fantasy lashes, you always use the natural one, like this one, like very natural eyelashes, put it on first, then on top of that you can put all those big 3Ds or, uh, you know, like uh, fantasy type eyelashes because it's going to stick very nice, otherwise it's going to give you a hard time to stick it. Okay, look at that. Perfect. Look. Also, if you want to make the eyes like more uh, shows the lashes, you can use another lashes. But unless you're using like 2D or 3D lashes, so you don't need to add more, okay? Because if you add more, you're gonna lose the eyeshadow uh, shape, and it's not gonna look nice. Okay, I want to make sure that I stick it really, really good. Let me see. You feel comfortable? Okay. You always have to ask if they feel comfortable because if they're not comfortable, guess what's going to happen? Like after one or two hours, the eye's going to get watery. It's going to, you know, stick. It's going to be uh, what they call it. Um, it's going to bother their eyes, so they're gonna take it out. And another secret that I'm giving to you, like if you put the eyelashes, okay, and it it's bother the um, customer eyes, what you have to do, you have to pull the inner corner out and cut it. But you have to be very, very careful that how you cut it, so you're not gonna uh, poke the eye. That's why when we have classes, like online classes or classes, during those classes, you're gonna learn a lot of great stuff that is gonna be full for rest of your life. 
That's the way my makeup classes are like that. I teach everything A to Z perfectly. And I really, really care. I want to make sure that you're learning everything, practicing different way, all the eyeshadow techniques, everything that one makeup artist needs to know, teaching. Okay, in case if I want to add more glue, like this corner, so I'm gonna make sure, look down, and very carefully, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the glue, inner corner, and I'm going to let it try, okay? So, because she has a beautiful, uh, actually, let me see, yeah. She has a beautiful big eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the uh, eyeliner. I can use the gel eyeliner inside of the waterline. So it's going to make the eyes like really sexy and beautiful. I'm using the Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner. I love this one. And make sure when you're using the eyeliner, you always cover the, the lid because it gets dry right away. But before I, I apply the eyeliner, I always make sure that the, uh, the line is clean and it's no watery. Look up. So I'm just going to clean with the Q-tip. Just like very slight and very nice. And I'm gonna use the, the right brush. Okay, and I'm gonna go inside. Let's use this one, I love this. So before I'm using it, so I'm gonna try on this, on the palette. Okay, perfect, look up. And I'm gonna start from the corner, go inside all the way. Okay, just close and open. Okay, just look. So you can see the different. Look up. When I do the inside, the, the uh, bottom part, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to use the upper corner too. I'm going to clean this one and then I'm going to use it again. Look up, I'm going to go inside. Look up. In this case, when you are doing like this one, you are uh, blending and matching the lashes so you won't see like there is a false eyelashes. See, like very nice and neat. I don't have to put too much. But what I do, okay, close your eyes. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put like very thin eyeliner starting from the corner. And it's gonna cover the glue. And I'm not gonna put the thin line, uh, thick line. Always I'm gonna use thin line because for me it's easy to make thicker open your eyes so do you see how thin is that it's very very important let me see gorgeous close your eyes and i'm gonna do the same and you have to have control if you see it again i'm using my finger this is very important that's the way when you are doing makeup so you will have control so your hands is not gonna be shaky and you're gonna have completely 100% control of your hands. Open, perfect, I love it. This is the way I love it. And if I want to shape it, uh, the eyeliner thicker or shape it uh, anyway, so I can go ahead and do it, okay? In this case, look down, I'm just gonna go exactly to the point that I did my shadow. And then I'm gonna expand it and then I'm gonna go like a v-shape towards down you can close your eyes man. always tell uh, them to close their eyes while you are doing the eyeliner because you're gonna feel like much comfortable the, the eyes is not gonna shake let me see gorgeous okay close your eyes now I'm gonna do the same thing what I do 
exactly the way that I put the eyeshadow, like a V-shape, I'm gonna do my eyeliner like a V-shape and not too thick. Okay, this is perfect. Open, beautiful. Okay, when I finish the eyeliner, okay, what I do, I now this, I, actually I'm gonna do the mascara, but I'm not gonna be um, uh, add my mascara, I'm just gonna put the face first, then in the end I'm gonna put the mascara, and if there is any extra, so I don't leave. Okay, so she has a combination face, and what I'm using it uh, before I do that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure again, I clean all the extra. Okay. The way that you see, like no extra eyeshadow came out. It's perfectly clean and nice. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Tarte uh, foundation, the because her skin is like. Uh, not too dark, not too light. So I'm gonna use the uh, eye and deep sand. I'm gonna mix these two colors in my little uh, palette here. When you are using the tube, so make sure that you're not um, having a lot because you cannot put it back, you're wasting it. So you always have to make sure that you're not using too much like this one I'm using only this and what I do before I'm doing this one I'm gonna use the primer and I'm using like a Evelyn professional I love this primer okay but if I'm not using this primer I'm gonna use the um, for sale please uh, the, the green one because this is a primer this is a serum that we can use it. So I love to use this one. Let's use this one. Make sure. Okay, let's see. Okay, this can be the primer. This can be the serum. You can use by itself. You can use after and before not after makeup actually, it means you have to use it before makeup, but even if you don't have the makeup, still you can use this one because this is a great serum. Our Sally, this is the green one, I love it. Okay, and also I'm gonna use my, okay, let's see here, sorry. My beauty blender, I'm gonna use my beauty blender and blend it really good. And then you can use the uh, moisturizer with or without. So I'm not using the moisturizer, but also I'm gonna use the, the sun cream. I'm gonna use the Lancome one because it's gonna be protect if you're doing like morning makeup, if they are going out like morning makeup, you're doing it, you definitely use the sun cream. It's very, very good. So you won't give any damages under the sun. So it protects. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this. She has a beautiful oval shape. There is no need. I'm just gonna put like a little bit for the um, cheekbone. She has beautiful forehead, okay, and it's perfect. We are making the face like this one. When they are not over face, we make the face like this one. That's why we are using contour, okay? And uh, also I would love to use, let me see this one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use the, the cover facts, this one. Uh, FX actually this is like very nice and has a little bit shimmer it's a glowy for the glowing the face okay 
sometimes this stock is not working, so we better use this one. It's how beautiful is this? The color is like very, very nice. So what I do, I'm gonna go on a T zone, and I'm gonna add a little bit on the cheek, even before I'm doing foundation, okay? This is the area that I love to have more glowy, okay? Make sure that you are using the correct amount and right areas because otherwise, it's, unless you want to do the whole face glowy so you can use that, it's fine. So what I do, I'm just going to tap that. See, it gives like beautiful look. So I'm having... Before you do the foundation, you have to make sure that you are blending nice and such a beautiful glow. Even I can do the little bit of this and then it's fine. You can get extra out. Okay. Even if you didn't apply the foundation, you guys can see how nice and glowy is the face. So what we do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix these two color and definitely always make sure that if you want to match it, you just have to match it like this one, you know? And then you apply the whole area. If you have any question, any suggestion, so you guys are more than welcome to send your message to Togetherness Media and then we answer all your questions. Okay, see I perfectly use all the palette, nice and neat. And if I have to do it more, so it's okay, I'm gonna mix more. If I have to add dark colors or light colors, I can do it. But always remember, less is more, we have to make sure. Okay, if I have everywhere, and then I'm gonna start the beauty blender and I'm gonna start blending. I always love to blend the way towards up. So the skin is like very, very nice and clean. But imagine if you have a more wrinkly, people who they have wrinkly face, you don't have to blend like this one. You have to make sure the way that you're blending towards up, so it's gonna feel all the liner. And that case also, before you're doing this one, you have to make sure that you're using the light color if it's deep, okay, like deep in this area or any area that has more wrinkle, deep wrinkles, you definitely have to use the light Concealer, one shade lighter than the skin color, okay? Just remember I always said the light it brings out. So means it's gonna be cover those dark area. And then on top you can do the foundation. Make sure that you are going and blending correctly. In this area you are just bringing always down and make sure that you are doing the neck you can do shoulders, chest, ears. I'm not doing anything under eyes yet because for the under eye, you know, sometimes you can use the same foundation. If they are young, they don't have any problem under eyes. You can use the foundation and doing it. But I love to use the concealer because this concealer is for the under eye makeup and foundation for face makeup. I love to use that. Okay, let me see if I blend it really good. You see? And in this case, if I have to add more, more. But it's good. Because this is enough. So it's not like too much, then I have to clean it, you know, because I'm going to make my life miserable when I'm doing the makeup. You can also cover the lip. And imagine when you are doing also the lip, the lip is, the color is going to be long lasting too. It's part of like, kind of like primer. You can use that but not the dark one. Okay, this is perfect. When I've done and completely, okay, this is amazing. And then make sure that when you have problem on face, when you have, um, you know, uh, what they call it, uh, pimples, you know, you use like at least a um, little bit uh, higher coverage, okay? And then there are so many like, um, Huda Beauty has the higher coverage and um, 
Estee Lauder has like a double wear, Estee Lauder has like more coverage. <coughs> Sorry. So you have to make sure if the face is clean, nice or anything, you don't have to use deep one. You just have like nice one. You can use also the, the sheer one that it not to show actually uh, too much color of the foundation because you want to look more like more natural. Okay, so when I've done this one, I'm gonna go and, and apply the concealer on the eyes and then when I'm using, I'm using NARS. Okay. So, I'm gonna use the right brush. And remember I said when I'm using the brush, uh, when you're using the liquid one, you better use the brushes that has synthetic, but professional brush synthetic. Look up. Okay. Oh my God, the battery is going nice. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. In this case, I'm not using any colors under eyes because her eyes is already big. I don't wanna make it bigger. So that's why I didn't use any color, but I'm gonna make sure. This is there because I'm gonna do a little bit contouring on this part. Okay. okay, before I blend this one, I'm just gonna go do contour a little bit for the cheek and I'm using the Murphy palette. And the brushes, even for Murphy brushes, like an oval shape, I'm gonna go ahead and use the color that is two shades darker than her skin. So what I do, I know where do I have to start from here, exactly below the cheekbone area. And I'm gonna do a little bit to create more cheekbone. Okay. So this is the way that we are using it. Perfect. And I'm gonna do for the nose. I'm gonna use like a small oval type brush, same color. And I'm just gonna go over under the eyebrow and make the nose a nose little bit here. Then I'm gonna shorter, make it shorter. So I'm gonna go dark in this area. Okay. Perfect. Then I'm gonna blend it. Okay. So I'm gonna blend towards up. I'm going a little faster because I don't wanna lose the time. I wanna make sure that we're gonna finish it on time. Okay, the way that I'm blending it towards up, there is no reason to blend it towards down because you're gonna um, half different type it's not gonna be right okay so I'm just gonna blend the nose the line because we don't want to make it obvious you know that's why the blending is very very important perfect okay this is enough. She has a beautiful uh, eyebrows. So what I do, I'm just gonna comb and take all the extra color that we have. She has beautiful eyebrows. I will blend it nice. Now I'm gonna blend my uh, concealer look up. Corner down, perfect. Before I apply my uh, cheek cover, the blush. I'm gonna make sure that, see, I blend it really, really nice. Over area, perfect. Then I'm gonna use the I'm using Murphy blush palette. They are very, very nice. I'm using like a VT color and beet. These two, peach and brownie. And I'm gonna go just above the line of my contour, right on the cheekbone, like this. And 
then blended with my culture. If I have to go sides, I go and then I blend it. We definitely have to use like warm colors to make sure like our makeup is gonna look like very, very nice. Let me see if I blend it perfectly, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna apply my mascara and then um, again, let's do the mascara now. Look down. And I'm gonna be make sure that I put my thumb here so it's not gonna be mess the eyeshadow. You have to make sure. You know, if you're used to your way to do it, you can apply it. This is my way and I think it's like faster, easier, look up. That's why everyone have their own secrets. So this is Alice's secret. Look up. See, I'm not putting too much on the bottom part, just the way that it match with the top. Look up. Look down. Okay, look at me, huh? Perfect, I love it. Okay, just look at the camera. So hopefully that you guys can see. Okay, now we're gonna go with the lip liner. I'm gonna apply the lip liner and I'm using the natural color. This is a uh, sorbet and it's like a, the natural color I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go, her lip also is very nice. We have to make sure that when you're doing V shape or the right shape, you have to make sure that there is a space between the nose and the lip. If you have to make it bigger or you have to make it smaller, there are techniques that you have to use that. So, like this one, let me see. Perfect. Okay. In the classes or online classes that we are going to start and all the classes that you are coming and enrolling, in those classes, you're gonna learn a lot of techniques. And what I've done, I already told that I have my own book. It calls Step by Step Beauty Secrets by Alice. That that's the gift to my students when they enroll into the class. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the eyebrow color, and then with the, uh, Raise my eyebrow. Okay. You have to use the right brushes. Okay, this is a small, like an oval shape. Not oval shape. Like this one. So I'm going to use. This is a, a more gel type because I'm not using too much. And it's a long lasting too. So what I do, I'm just going to go inside and fill it in because she already has great eyebrows. What I do, I'm just gonna reshape it and just fill it in. And we are not doing too much dark colors in this area. Already this is a light color, but if you, have, if you want to add two colors, you can do. You can use like lighter shape in this area of the eyebrows and the darker shape to the rest. Or if you have to give the arch, you definitely have to use darker color and give the arch. Okay, this is perfect. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cover this thing so we're not gonna lose it. I'm gonna make sure. What I do, I'm gonna put the uh, the powder, the loose powder, and this is, uh, which one I'm using? Uh, transfer, oh my God, Laura Marcia, oh my God, sorry. So what I do, I'm just gonna put the color here. Okay, this is perfect. I'm gonna use again, okay. 
I'm using the Laura Marcia also. This is a very nice peach shimmery color. And I'm gonna go right on the cheekbone above to give like a nice shimmery, glowy, whatever you call look. And it makes it like very nice, beautiful. If I want to add more, I will add more. And then also I'm going to use the, uh, the Becca uh, Chloe uh, four palette color, I mean palette color. This is like very, very nice. I'm gonna use the, the gold one. I'm gonna go and give like a little bit more glow. Make sure that you're not uh, mixing the all colors together. You just have to go separately. If I have to do, let's see, more on my uh, contour one even I can use this one and I can go and just like touch a little bit for the contouring part because it's gonna be glowy and nice together okay this is it and I'm gonna use the um, dots of color this is like a very natural color this calls what is it what is it Nicole, Chica. New, Chica. New Chica. Okay, anyway, this is the one. <laughs> so I'm gonna use. This is so beautiful, very natural. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply a uh, disposable one and I'm gonna fix it. Open your mouth a little bit. Make sure that you're applying the whole lip inside and blending really, really good. Okay, can you do it? Perfect, let me see. Awesome. So do you see the, the one I picked, the eyeliner, uh, I mean the lip liner and the colors is exactly match because I don't want to show it. And top of that, I'm gonna use, um, again, this one is, can you see this one? Because it's so small. Jazzy. Jazzy, so I'm gonna add like these colors on top. It's like a shimmer, like a peach color, nice. This is so, because I already make the eyes more glowy, so this is nice. Okay, let me see over. Okay, that's perfect. And don't forget that you definitely, definitely have to use the loose powder under the eye and the face. Okay, look up. Perfect. Loose powder, it sets your makeup very, very nice. And any extra colors it comes out blend really good and then in the end I'm gonna put it before I apply it definitely you have to take the extra out don't put the whole thing just go tap 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 perfect and then in the end if I want to use anything added I can do it I can, let me see. Oh, this is perfect. I love it. Okay, but I'm gonna add a little bit more cheek color. This one I'm gonna use um, Sephora one actually. I would love to add this uh, peach color. And it's like a shimmer, you know, it's like a glowy. Glow, glow, glow. This is the whole thing about the makeup, glow. <laughs> You guys don't know how much I love makeup. I'm doing it for 20 years and I love it. I love it. I love to teach, I love to do. This is my passion. You have to have passion to your work. You have to love what you are doing. And that's why you learning a lot, you adding to your experience. And uh, it's very, very good because every day we can learn. 
We can learn a lot from, from each other, and then you can add it to your experience. But before you do that, you have to be a professional. You have to learn the right way, okay? Le learn the right way, and then the rest is going to be very, very easy. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Okay, my beautiful. Okay, this is gone, it's okay. Let's do this one. Okay, it's finished and it's done. Let me see. Did you see yourself or not? <laughs> okay, this is the perfect uh, way that you are doing the makeup and you guys learned a lot today about the product, what I use, and how to do the makeup. This is a professional, perfect makeup that you can do it. Uh, if there is any question again, more than welcome. You can send it to Togetherness Media, watch our program, Secrets of Beauty, every day at 2 o'clock. You can follow us on um, Instagram, you can follow us on YouTube, and then you can go our website and watch 24-7 all these beautiful pro. Um, what they call a program that has been made especially for you guys. So tell all your friends that there is beautiful programs every day that you can get a lot of benefit of that. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Thank you.